All right, Friday, May 3rd. Had the surgery Tuesday, April 30th. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, day four. Um, last night was horrible, I'm not going to lie. First night back home from the hospital. Um, some family issues, which didn't help things. And the pharmacy did not have the hydrocodone prescription so all they had was methocarbamol which is a muscle relaxant and that wasn't even the one that was prescribed they substituted it uh, they gave me some lidocaine patches yay I already had some of those anyways they were supposed to have some I don't know, stool softeners or something in there along with it. At least that's what I was told was prescribed. Um, I was dropped off at the house because running around is not really the thing you want to do um, after this surgery. So uh, they dropped me off here and then they went out to pick up the prescription. And of course, it's late in the day. Pharmacy closed in one hour. Uh, they were able to get me dropped off and get to the pharmacy before it closed. And then, of course, come home with menial stuff that they really could have left at the damn pharmacy over the important ones. You know, not their fault. It's just what they were given at the pharmacy. But uh, it sucked. Um, sleeping was a little bit better, albeit a little more painful um, I found sleeping on my side uh, left side prevents indigestion right side is fine if you don't have indigestion but sleeping on left or right is usually a bit better for me than my back or of course stomach I've never slept on the stomach um, but I was able to sleep in at least two to three hour blocks and then go back to bed usually just getting up to go to the bathroom uh, and then back to sleep which was better than when I was at the hospital because that was like you know sleep for 15 minutes up for 45 sleep for 30 minutes up for 30 uh, just kind of doing it that way so I got a little more sleep but uh, it was tough getting up without that medication in me I'm not gonna lie so that's the biggest thing I looked at as far as that goes um, I'm on the bed you know I ordered a bunch of pillows before and different angled memory phone stuff you know so I could try to set up and do things but and I may try later when somebody's here, but doing anything other than being laid down, whether it's on my side or on my back, uh, it just seems to be that pain. Maybe it'll be better when I get some better pain pills. I had some old hydrocodone, but they were 5 milligram instead of the 4.7. So I had to cut one of them in half um, so that I don't get sick taking them because the only thing worse than being in pain like I am right now is being in pain and wanting to throw up so I'm really cautious about that they prescribed me the 4.7 milligram which is a little bit less than the five obviously but you know we tried that I wasn't throwing up ate some crackers and things like that and then took the hydrocodone didn't really throw up um, I could feel nausea around the corner but out of sight so for whatever that's worth if people have problems taking narcotics making them sick um, right now I feel okay a lot better than I did this morning um, I've got that pill and a half of 
hydrocodone in me that's probably back from 2005 so at least part of it's still working she's gone off to pick up the other prescription they said they had that in there now so she's off to get that um, some crackers little bits and pieces for eating some puddings and things like that I, I can eat regular food but yeah, because I still haven't had a bowel movement yet I don't really want to push it and make it difficult so I'm trying to lay off on what I'm eating and try to do soft foods and as clear as possible grapes things like that um, and we'll go from there but uh, just one day at a time hopefully I wake up tomorrow's better and then Sunday I got to do some work on Monday that's going to require me to be in a chair at a computer and we'll see how that does um, but that's where I'm at today still in the bed still got pain the biggest part is that ice pack they put on you uh, it's good because it keeps the swelling down and it it's it's really kind of nice but it's right between you your back which is the wound and the bed so every time you move it's pressing on the wound you know whether you switch to the left or the right side or whatever even go from your side going to your back is ultra tough because now you're laying on the ice with the wound um, they, it's kind of horrible not gonna lie but uh, I'm still here I'm alive <sighs> things are getting a little bit better um, so just keep looking up and I'll make another video probably tomorrow or if anything changes or I find anything great you know, I'll, I'll, I'll make another video so I don't forget it.